Well, what's going on with people? I have a couple of pieces brand new from Richard Cottrell of Malloroy Whips. He kindly sent these my way to kind of review some things here and there and also uh, demonstrate how they handle. This uh, natural tan one on top is actually one, oh boy, I'm really good at tangling these. One made in Kip Hyde. If you know anything about Kip, it's very thick because you can't splice strands, so they run pretty large and you also can't pull them tight, so it's a very simple piece out of the box. It's got the Raiders likeness to it, so the knot's a little higher, and uh, I believe it does end in an eight point. Feels pretty beefy, so I'm excited to see how that goes. And then we have a 10 foot Temple of Doom style with a die job over the top. Um, this one also has pretty thin comparisons to the original David Morgan's in Temple of Doom. And I think he was just going for the really gritty, greased up stunt look, which is why it has a very sporadic patina as per the die. So we'll see how that goes too. Let's kick off with this eight foot. You know, I actually can't recall if I've ever cracked Kip Hyde. I had a Creasing Corral at one point, but it was much thinner and actually came closer to Kangaroo. So I, I wonder if it was even Kip or if there was something else going on there. But anyhow, let's see how this goes. Just as predicted though, it is rather loose. It feels quite supple for being brand new. Not sure if it would break in more than it already tends to be as is. Um, that's pretty cool. And the 10 foot, lots of weight in the handle, so hopefully that carries out. Lots of weight in this one, and it's certainly stiffer. So once that breaks in and has all of the, the grease packed in, that would be most excellent. But yeah, so thank you, Richard, for this opportunity to review your pieces and let you know what you can improve on and what works well. Otherwise, if you're in the market, Richard's a pretty reputable guy to commission from, and uh, pretty sure they speak for themselves. So. Thanks for watching and you know how it goes. See you in the next one.